In this video, we're going to take you through the process of installing a tape track framework server on a VMware virtual machine. We're starting off with a Windows 2008 Server R2 clean install. We've allocated two gigabytes of RAM to the VM and we've given it four processors. To kick off the install process, we go to the TapeTrack website, www.tapetrack.com. Then we click on the Learn More About TapeTrack link. Once there, we click on the Products link. And then we go down to the TapeTrack Framework Server download icon and click it. This will download the TapeTrack Framework Server installer, which takes about 10 seconds. Once downloaded, we click on the installer and it will start the Install Shield install process. On the welcome screen, we click Next. We then accept the terms and conditions, click Next. We can optionally select where we want to put the server. In this case, I'm going to choose the default location. Then I click Next. Once we're ready to install, I click the Install button and user access control will prompt you to accept the install of the server. All tape track software is digitally signed with our code signing certificate. So we click yes. The installer will then install all of the programs and the tape track service. Then we click finish. Once we've done that, we can close our web browser and you'll see that on our desktop, we have a Tape Track Tape Master icon. Tape Track Tape Master is the administrative interface into the Tape Track Framework server. To launch it, we double click on the icon. We'll then be prompted to enter a user ID and password. When we install, only one user ID exists, and that's the built in Tape Master user ID, and it has a blank password. So we click OK and we've just successfully installed and connected to a newly installed TapeTrack Framework server.